It's an unusually hot day here in Copenhagen and so of course I've gone out of my apartment to hang out in my local cemetery. Wait, what? Yes, that's actually a thing that Copenhageners and Danes like to do when it's hot. They like to chill, drink coffee, beer, smoke, whatever in their local cemetery slash graveyard. But why? Well, that's what I'm here to find out. I'm gonna go around and ask people who are hanging out here why Danes like to hang out in cemeteries. Did I say that too much? So, here we are in the Assistant Cemetery, which is located pretty centrally in what I think is probably Copenhagen's most hip area, Nørrebro. Strolling around here, you can find old, famous, dead Danish pupils. Such as the father of existentialism, Søren Kierkegaard, or even the one and only fairy tale author, H.C. Anderson. But mostly, you'll encounter ordinary Copenhageners, promenading the site, sitting on benches, or even chilling on the grass by a grave. How nice. As I walked around and mentally prepared to talk to strangers, a guy just came up to me and asked what I was up to. I replied that I wanted to interview him, and it turned out he, amongst others, had something to say. Do you ever come here with your friends to hang out and just have a coffee or a beer? Yes, I do. Well, yes, every once in a while. Uh, that's actually my first time. Often. Why do you choose this specific cemetery? Well, first of all, I live right next to it. I live nearby. I live close by. I live not far away from here. I think it's because uh, it's one of the few places in the city where there's peace and quiet. Doesn't it bother you that there are uh, dead bodies buried around you or tombstones everywhere? Um, not at all. It's just um, a new approach or if you want to perceive it, it's like a, a new un understanding of, 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 of life. No, it's a very peaceful place, so no, it doesn't bother me. I always thought like chill out in a cemetery is super weird. Right? But then on the other hand, it's like a real natural thing to have uh, like death as a natural thing. Well, if you think about it, it could be a bit creepy, but it might a place that is connected to death, is connected to sadness with the idea of life and the idea of chilling, the idea of chatting and and people and surroundings and happiness. So you're not bothered by all the like dead bodies and tombstones? No, no. I, don't, I don't know. I think it makes a great picture, but... No, I mean, it's uh, one of the few places in our modern society where decay and death are to be seen. I mean, we're hiding all those things usually in hospitals and uh, homes for elderly people. Uh, here we can see it all around us that we're going to die one day. And I would never get pissed drunk here. No, ever. Never. Just no. a couple of beers and hang out a little. Okay, cut please. There's a lot to unpack here. For some reason, I really thought this was gonna be a funny video. <laughs> but uh, looking back now, I'm not quite sure why. It, the place really seems to help people reflect on life and death and respect and uh, other themes about life. And did I say death? <clears throat> All right. Moving on now to the question that we've all been waiting for. Why do you think there's a culture around hanging out in cemeteries in Copenhagen? One of the things that I have discovered in three years is that this park, this graveyard, in reality is connecting two neighborhoods. So it's like an access point in between two different metropolitan areas of the city that you, where you can shortcut from one avenue to another district through the graveyard by cycling. I think it has something to do with the culture in general yeah. and the like, lack of, not like rules and respect, but more like... We're just more open-minded, I think. Yeah, open-minded or just like don't really like have so traditional rules, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Well, maybe <laughs> there is not enough space for other things or maybe they make the graveyards very comfortable to hang out for people. So, I mean, they are all it's a lot of place where people can lay down and chill, so I think they make it great. Yeah, I think it's specific for Copenhagen. Like the Danish culture as well is, we're maybe more culturally Christian, so it's, it's not that relaxed. Uh, 
less uptight. Yeah, yeah, yeah we kind of lose some. But this capitalist uh, swinging a bell for it. <laughs> but you still respect that people come here for various reasons and you you give that space to each other. But I also think this here it's because the city grew around it and Nørrebro Parken I think was founded later. This came first so people, this was the only place they could go so they had to go here first and then that that became the norm and then that spread and then the parks came later and now it just never left again so the culture never broke down without being a historian about it. Why do you think there's a culture around hanging out in cemeteries in Copenhagen? Well I guess we don't have that many parks so it's kind of a park for us I guess. I don't know it from other cities I only know it from Copenhagen I must say. In my own city we didn't do it. I guess I just have one last question is uh, do you uh, think it's appropriate or weird or do you think it's just chill and it's okay that people like drink beer and smoke and do chill in that kind of way here? Well, um, I think it's okay, but you have to do it in the old areas because w- when I lost uh, someone that I loved and people were partying nearby, it wasn't so nice. So you have to sort of respect that there are some areas where you can have a beer and and talk and have fun. I think that's okay, but you have to respect that there are some areas where people are in grief. And I don't think you should play music. You know, if you can talk and just have a nice time, I think it's it's very nice, actually. Okay. Amazing, thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. So, I think it's fair to say that uh, it's a pretty Copenhagen-specific thing to chill like this in cemeteries. The goers that I met here all seem to have a certain respect for both the dead and the grieving, which in a way allows them to enjoy the place as if it were a park. But at the same time, I think we can also say that it's more than just your everyday park. It seems to be a place that gives space to anyone on any day. Unless maybe it's raining or winter. It's a place that elicits everything from the sadness of grief to the joy of spending your time relaxing or reflecting in such a beautiful place with friends or just alone. And I think that was also a common theme that was hinted at between the fair people who were interviewed. All right. All right. I think that you. Uh, if you want to support me, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Peace out. See you next time.